right, we're back here live at the Velocity Conference. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. This is theCUBE, our flagship program when we go out to the advanced track to steal it from the noise. I'm here with Kate Matsudaira, who is the founder and CTO of Popforms, which is leadership software, but you're also uh, involved with O'Reilly Media, uh, who uh, runs this event in a lot of different capacities. One is this new Cultivate act, uh, project. Uh, welcome to theCUBE. Yeah, thank you, I'm excited to be here. We love to have folks who are doing a couple different things. One is you, <laughs> you're at, uh, doing a startup, your own. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a tech geek, and you're working on an event, which means you've got to have some savvy around content programming. <laughs> you've got to read the tea leaves. You kind of got to do what we do at SiliconANGLE, try to figure out what's going to be relevant. That takes a lot of work. Yeah. And it sounds trivial, but it's very, not that easy. Well, I'm definitely really uh, opinionated on these things around technology and leadership. Uh, I started my career as an engineer and really had struggled my way through management. And so I've been blogging about it and things like that. So I, in some ways the content's easy because I know all the things I wish someone would tell me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Get to, the, get to the point, will you? The, uh, and it's fun too now. What's exciting about us, I mean, SiliconANGLE is only four years old and our research side, Wikibon, and we love working with O'Reilly because they're like such big pros, is that we, the word's already out there. There's a lot of content already online. And so the content business has changed, but there's also a need for in depth, a little bit more, but not to the community levels, but it's more like, okay, I want to think. I call it thinking content, right? Like just enough collaboration. That sparks a lot of creativity. Uh, so with that, is it, what's the focus of Cultivate? What's your, what's your thinking around Cultivate? Well, so for Cultivate, we really wanted to create a conference for software and technology leaders or aspiring leaders. So all the things that you kind of have to really think about and, and care about from you know, technology trends to like the culture. You know, there's this big trend right now to flatter organizations. I talk about it as like leaders everywhere. It's, uh, you know, like everybody is a leader in their own way and how do you empower them, but also how do you harness all that? Because great ideas don't just come from the top, right? Like great ideas yeah. come from everywhere. So if your company can leverage that, it gives you a big advantage. You know, one of the things we, first of all, we talk about this all the time because mostly on the IT enterprise space, which is going through a lot of massive transformation to just basic business. I mean, one of the themes here at Velocity that's interesting is that things like e-commerce, because this, this performance web thing hits a lot of the main world, the real world, retail, commerce, healthcare, not just the, the web firms, mm -hmm. but those guys were the leaders. So um, I think there's a real leadership need for, okay, how do I think about reconstructing my value chains? Because big data changes that. Okay, great, well what about cloud? Well now you have an elastic resource, that's a resource. So the resource changing dynamics are causing business folks to go, wait a minute, I can measure things and I can get business value? Why aren't I running IT? So well, there's a mindset around that versus I got my laptop, it was issued to me by the company, here's my forms, here's my BI, here's my data warehousing. Well and I also feel you, like, what do you yeah, see? I mean I totally agree. And I think there's a trend too, like they say that this is the first time where there's really like these three concurrent generations in the workforce. And with the millennials, uh, you know, they kind of have different values, different trends, and so what worked previously yeah. doesn't work anymore. And so, yeah, so what we're trying to do with the conference is just create a really great forum for people to talk about this. So, you know, to be, you know, technology and technical topics are really great, but there's a lot of people doing really cool and interesting things, right? And Velocity yeah. is great because they have yeah. a lot of culture and process, but with Cultivate, what we're trying to do is make it even a higher level, so CEOs yeah. and, uh, you know, VP of engineering, CTOs, CIOs, like it's the conference for them to yes. talk about their jobs. And what are you seeing as the critical success factors for them in terms of CTOs? Is it is it scheduling? Is it human uh, resource issues? Is it all it's the above? It's always human. It's always people. Uh, you, like I always talk about how technology problems, like <laughs> it, people will hire me as a consultant to come help with a technology problem and it's always a people problem. And what's the biggest problem you've seen? <laughs> The biggest problem, I mean, well. Not I mean, being collaborative? Dip, well, collaboration, um, organization, uh, you know, a lot of it is learning how, you know, being able to really understand yourself and understand those yeah. around you and work together. I don't know, there's, it's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no one person. Hiring, a lot of people will tell you. Hiring wrong, yeah. So, so let's talk about some concepts that we talked about in theCUBE earlier. So, um, obviously Velocity is not just a cloud, it's not just performance and UX. But the UI teams are usually different. I got a UI team over here, I got a back end team over here, and they were siloed before. So, you know, breaking down the silos, okay, that's great, we'll break down the silos. But what does that mean? How do you organize that? How does that change someone's job? Is what people want to know. They want to know, how am I going to lose my job? 
How do I build my career path so that I can you know, take some risks but not worry about getting fired? You know, these are little things that are big, right? Yeah, no, well, I know from my own personal experience, right? Like I started my career and you wanted to build like deep technical skills. Like that's what you wanted. And then when you became a manager, you're like, oh, I need some people skills, right? And then, and then when you go into a startup, you're like, shit, I need business skills. And then you're like, I need sales and marketing skills. And, and it becomes like you really need yeah. to kind of be more well-rounded and you need to have more of this. And I think to lead technology, it's, no, it's not just enough to be a great technologist anymore. So talk about top forms and your keynote here at Velocity, because obviously um, the, we'll, we can talk more about the cult of e-commerce, but I want to just find out what you thought about your keynote and how it was positioned in, in, in context to the alpha geeks that were here. Yeah, so, um, well, platforms were about building leadership software, so a lot of what I'm talking about, but the keynote was really about uh, influencing without authority. So, I think that no matter what your role is here, that there's probably ways that you can be more influential, more helpful, and, and at the end of the day, people and success are really tightly intertwined, and so if you don't learn that piece of it, I don't think that you can really be as successful as maybe your potential would allow you to be. What's the biggest thing that you've learned that you can share with folks around just some of the challenges that people are facing today that really are going to be more important in the future but that they can start changing now? Because you know, change is hard, right? Change is like, you know, people fear change, but it's also like if you, do, if you take your medicine early or you do something <laughs> early, it will pay dividends versus the unwinding of bad behavior or bad practices. What do, you, what, what do you think people should be focused on now that will pay dividends that might not be that obvious? I think, you know, really understanding what your strengths and weaknesses are, and like in a company, like what you're good at, what you're not good at, so you kind of can think about hiring for that or just even being aware of your blind spots. I think that's one of the things they always talk about. Another, another thing I would even say is just, you know, it, you can be really great at your job, but your job is also making sure everyone else knows what you're doing. And yeah. so building that trust and having those communication lines so that you can share that with the world. So uh, give the folks some URLs to the Cultivate or your coordinates if they want to contact you with any yeah. questions. So uh, the Cultivate conference is cultivatecon.com and if you, you should come, it's in New York, it'll be awesome. And then uh, my personal, my uh, company is popforms.com and you know, I'm Kate Matz on Twitter. I think we'll be there with theCUBE. Kate, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Really appreciate you coming on. I think what you're doing is amazing. On a personal note, I just think that we are at the beginning of a massive explosion of, of I won't say re-education, because when you ever, and when you ever have, whenever you have a redistribution of wealth, during these major inflection points. You have opportunities for entrepreneurs, but there's a bigger picture, and that is the DBA might be the data scientist. There's all kinds of changes that are happening in, in, in the technology business. Um, so, it's an opportunity. So, thank you for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. This is SiliconANGLE's coverage of Velocity. We'll be right back after this short break. Day two, wall-to-wall -wall coverage live. I think we have 16 interviews today, 17 yesterday. Go to siliconangle.com to see all the blog coverage. Go to youtube.com slash siliconangle, see all the videos on demand. They go live from here right to YouTube. And of course, go to wikibon.org for free research. We'll be right back after this short break.